Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get free chicken. We were gonna do eggs, but we weren't sure which came first. What's going on, YouTube? It's Willie Knox, and we are back. We're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, get your masks out. Get your guitars. We got Nightwish on deck, and this right here right now is none other than Phantom of the Opera live. One. I mean, she only gives you just a little bit, but you can just tell the immensity of her voice, just the power, the soul, the range that she has, just what a vocal talent. And he speaks to me, he calls my name. I mean, the song is titled Phantom of the Opera. So it sounds very much like she's singing almost from the perspective of Christine from Phantom of the Opera, who, you know, is haunted and chased by and stalked by none other than eric the phantom i wonder if it's gonna like follow suit and stay within that world of play and opera because she has the perfect voice for opera anyways let's keep it rolling that voice which calls to me and speaks my name and do i dream Wow. I'm never going to say opera the same way again. Opera. Just the way even that was enunciated, man. She's, she really is incredible. Like you feel like you could just see the faces of the people and how they're already emotionally connecting with it. Yes! My power over you grows stronger yet. And this sounds like obviously he's now embellishing in the voice of the Phantom and this sort of enchantment that the Phantom holds over Christine. And the Phantom is the one who originally taught Christine how to sing. And man, we are going back into that time. But I love, again, the mix of kind of the operatic theme at the beginning, right? The strings, the build, atmospheric, moody. And then all of a sudden, woof, just take a drumstick straight to the face and let things kind of drop in and rock out for a second. And it's just like this mixture of theater and heavy rock and opera and amazing singing on top of that. And his voice, it's going to be interesting if they do start to actually duet. Yeah, he's just got that gravelly rocker's voice. Oh. I love that flip on an eye in the mask you wear because obviously the Phantom wears a mask to hide his grotesque face. So, you know, we're flipping that. And again, you have the actual world of the Phantom of the Opera, but also you have this allegory happening. And, and who is the Phantom in this case? And it's all happening inside her mind. So it starts to make you think and, and wonder at what that could mean. And I feel like, yeah, we could go on a mental voyage right now. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. Wow. It 
It's interesting, you even see it in the lyrics, though. She's singing inside my mind, he's singing inside your mind, and the duet still continues. I love that. And again, I love when you have just a male vocalist and a female vocalist because their range is in that juxtaposition of how they sit. Like, duets are some of my favorites to listen to. But then you take her incredible voice on top of that, oh my. <laughs> Yeah, if I was a stalker, this would be my theme song. Oh. I really like that line in this labyrinth, like the labyrinth of one's mind, where night is blind. Because normally you say where love is blind. And then that's, you know, one of the themes of the Phantom of the Opera is, is love. And you can't force love upon people. And, you know, the saying love is only skin deep. But in this case, I love how they're kind of staying true to that darker horror theme of Phantom of the Opera, too. Because it is a horror at the same time. So you have na 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 just like the de-escalating chords, just the way that everything kind of hits and sits. It still has that that beauty, but at the same time, that sort of aggression and danger and, and grit to it all, even with the lyricism itself. And then I love obviously playing off a of nighttime. <laughs> Wow. Well, he made that look easy, didn't he? Sing My Angel of Music. That's right, because he, she is taught, Christine is taught by the angel of music in the Phantom of the Opera. Man, they've done their homework. I just feel like glass could be broken right now. What in the siren song is happening? And he's saying scream, and it's almost like you have that horror connotation, right? Because, like, people have been murdered and we're screaming out right now versus she's literally screaming and she's, like, being controlled by the puppet master. She's on stage literally giving us those screaming notes. <laughs> I mean, what in the dominatrix shit just happened in my life? I tell you what, man, I really love just, again, the massive cinematic orchestral feel to just opera and rock and taking these worlds of drama and bringing it together. And it's almost like, yeah, like taking the story of the Phantom of the Opera and that, you know, that walking of the two characters and having them duet and converting that into a singular song, but like matching that feel and that vibe of it as she is literally singing and enchanted by her phantom on stage. And you see that duet and that playing back and forth between love and horror and angels of death and darkness within our own minds as we wander inside these labyrinths of poetry, man. That was beautiful.
Nightwish, you are Noxo certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Listen, for some reason you're here at the end, obviously enjoying the content. Do me a huge favor, support the channel directly. Subscribe notifications on. Really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. It's one only Noxo. You know, I'll catch you again.